Hello everyone, welcome back to Villains May Cry, a show where we examine villains in movies and shows and reveal why they're so terribly misunderstood and treated unfairly. I'm Cameline. And I'm Ariane. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about one of the most quotable mean girls, Regina George. Hold up, are you wearing pink? It's Friday! Wow. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Now, if you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us at lunch. For those of you who don't know, Regina George is one of the main characters in the movie Mean Girls, starring Lindsay Lohan, Rachel McAdams, and Amanda Seyfried, and many more. And Regina George's character is played by Rachel McAdams, who, by the way, has said that her Mean Girls character still haunts her to this day. Mean Girls is a teen comedy movie that focuses on Caddy Heron. Do we have a Caddy Heron here? It's Katie. My bad. Katie Heron. Katie is a homeschooled teenager who grew up in the African jungles. She moved to the suburbs of Illinois where she discovers the laws of the jungle taking on a whole new meaning when the 16 year old enters a public high school for the first time. Katie quickly gets thrown into the cruel laws of popularity that divides her fellow students into tightly knit cliques. She struggles to find her place among the jock, nerds, and other subcultures. Katie crosses paths with the meanest species of all, the Queen Bee, aka the cool and calculating Regina George, leader of the school's most fashionable cliques, the Plastics. She's the Queen Bee, the star. Those other two are just her little workers. But Katie soon realizes how her shallow group of new friends earned this nickname. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. That's Gretchen Wieners. She's totally rich because her dad invented toaster strudel. It's important to note that it's Janice and Damien, Katie's new friends, who introduce us to Regina. And Janice and Damien consider themselves as outsiders and tell Katie that Regina is pure evil and that her whole plastics group are the most evil people in the school without ever giving us a real reason as to why they think that. Uh, but Katie believes them and she agrees to help Janice take down Regina and they establish a three-step plan. First, they want to get her boyfriend, Aaron Samuels, to break up with her. Two, they want to lower her self-esteem by making her gain weight. And three, they want to make her friends betray and leave her. Gina would be nothing without her high-status man candy, technically good physique, an ignorant band of loyal followers. And throughout the movie, we are told time and time again that Regina is pure evil, that she's the worst person ever, and she needs to be taken down. And anything she does or says is taken the wrong way. But that's because we're actually seeing her through Janice or Cage's eyes. Now let's be real why Regina is considered a villain. She's popular, she's pretty, she's rich, not ashamed to flaunt it, she's dating a quarterback, and she enjoys telling her friends what to wear. She's all the elements that a stereotypical early 2000 Mean Girls would have. You can't wear a tank top two days in a row, and you can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. But what did Regina do that was so bad? Gossip? As if teenage girls don't do that. And she didn't want her new friend to date her ex-boyfriend. And you do? She chose the friends she wanted to hang out with. Who doesn't? Exactly. And she handed out compliments that she didn't mean. But where's the harm in that, as long as she helped raise someone's confidence or mood? So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. And I feel like a lot of Regina's good sides were actually clouded by this mean girl title. For example, she's the one who welcomes Keiji and invites her to be a part of the plastics group. And sure, this group was a little bit dysfunctional and a little bit toxic at times, but Regina ultimately welcomed the new kid and made her a part of everything. Yeah, very true. She also always defends her friends. She called out Jason for treating Gretchen so poorly and she used her mean girl's antics to make sure Jason doesn't go out with anyone else because she doesn't want to see her friend get hurt. Is he bothering you? Jason, why are you such a skis? I'm just being friendly. <sighs> you were supposed to call me last night. Jason. You do not come to a party at my house with Gretchen and then scam on some poor innocent girl right in front of us three days later. She's not interested. Regina isn't the kindest person ever. 
But again, what teenage high schooler is? Exactly. And if you think about it, everyone in that movie is a villain. And that's the whole point of it. Janice Ian was a villain for orchestrating a whole takedown revenge plan against Regina. She plotted to break up Regina's relationship. She put a plan in place to make her friends betray and leave her. And then she did everything in her power to ruin her skin and make her gain weight. Kitty Heron was a villain for plotting against a girl she just met who just welcomed her into her friend group. She followed everything Janice told her to do and in the end ended up being a worse person than Regina. All because she wanted to pursue Regina's ex-boyfriend? Gretchen Wieners was a villain for spinning Regina's secrets to KJ. Regina confided in her best friend about her parents' marital problems and it only took a couple of lies from KJ for Gretchen to spill all the beans to her. That's pretty disappointing behavior in my opinion. Right, and Karen Smith was a villain for seeing her friends do mean things to each other but yet didn't say anything to stop it. And Damien was a villain just for encouraging Janice's toxic behavior just because he wanted to see some drama. Okay, we even have Miss Norbury being a villain for getting involved in all his teenage drama. And of course, the biggest villain of them all remains Coach Carr for sleeping with underage girls. Like, why is no one talking about that? So taking all of this into consideration, was Regina really the worst? Well, yes, yeah, she was a bitch, but so was everyone else. That is why the movie is called Mean Girls, not just Mean Girl. That's all we have for today's show. Thank you guys for watching Villains May Cry. And don't forget the question, were they really the villain or were they just misunderstood? I'm Ariane. And I'm Cameline. See you next week. See Bye. You next week.